as an Oromancer is go to the top left of the squad panel, stick the little arrow, and put it so that it shows party mode. <laughs> so uncheck view as grid. Because you're oh. going to need to have uh, view as grid unchecked in order to see the conditions that are on your party. Starting in air, I'm only going to go over uh, skills that we're actually going to use. So starting in air, your three skill, uh, like, I mean, you can use the other skills, but the more important ones. So your three skill in air is an aura. When you press your aura, or even if someone else applies it to you, you're going to get a secondary skill. That secondary skill, if you hit it, explodes the shocking aura and stuns the enemies around you that are hit by it. So every time you uh, apply this, your parties are all going to get shot in your aura. So if somebody hits you, they get stunned, or if you explode it and they're near you, they get stunned. <coughs> I usually explode the one that I give from the three skill because uh, you will get another one when you overload your air. Uh, you also are likely to use your four skill in air, which is a pull. But you do have to be fairly close as the range on that is only 750. Wrong. I will use this if we're like right on top of the enemies and my commander's calling for a, uh, a bomb like right there in front of us to pull them into it. If I'm not busy healing, that is. <laughs> so then your F3, that is your overload. That's going to give you another shot. Or it's also going to give you and your party alacrity. And if you want, you can explode that as well uh, before you leave air if you get time. In air? Mm -hmm. That uh, when you overload that uh, lightning field, do you blast that at all? Uh, for additional cleanses? I, or? N no. Uh, blasting the lightning okay. field will only give you swiftness. Not light. light. Yes. Light field is what I'm thinking of. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, Never a, mind. Sta it's a static field, so it's, it's just swiftness. There's no point to blasting that one. No, I was thinking light field, blasting for cleanses, yeah. but... No. The only... Yeah. The it only, needs to be the uh, right field. The only personal field that I will blast from the overload is the fire. Okay. Uh, moving on to fire. Switching into fire will cleanse a condi. Uh, every aura you apply is going to cause condies to go away. So your fire skill, I uh, usually use, I'll use three if I'm falling behind. This will help you catch up. It's a leap forward. Just Makes a trail of fire. Uh, your overload fire, your F1, is going to drop a fire field. So when you hit that, you're going to get burning aura, which will clear condies. You're going to get a fire field. If uh, you spin and hit your six, your aftershock skill, directly after it, you'll get some might. And right after you get that might, if you can hit your four in fire, you will then share your 25 stacks of might to your party. as well as clearing more condies because it's another fire aura on your four skill. Spike in front, Welter, 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 Welter. Big spike on this, big spike on this. And we're dodging back in three, two, one, dodge back one, dodge back one. Get those people up, get those people up. Rally them, rally them. Garrett in, in Earth, your four is uh, another aura. That's your protection aura. So that's gonna make your party take less damage. I'll also use uh, my three skill, if we are moving into them and I'm a little bit behind, this will immobilize enemies that you land on. It also happens to be a finisher, so you may accidentally condi cleanse by landing in someone else's field. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to try and time that for that reason because you've got enough of your own that you really don't need to, but if it happens, you know, great. <laughs> and it's another good leap for if you're follow falling behind. Uh, your five skill 
the dust storm will inflict blindness. So if we're in the middle of them, sometimes I got extra time. Sometimes I'll hit that. He moves one person, but it will help you catch up. So. It only takes one person. Yep. Now your your F four, your oh. overload Earth, will give you another protection aura. It will also give you stability. So um, if you need stability, that is a good one to hit. But it, if you don't get it off in time, you'll be interrupted. Uh. And it's going to immobilize as well. So when you ride that thing, you're, you've got your own stab. And you can immobilize five targets with that. And you're also giving your party more magnetic aura. So that's going to uh, both reflect projectiles and make us take less incoming damage. Actually, oh, I got flung out to the side. We're moving back to the roof. Come to the roof. Come to the roof. On tag, on tag, on tag, on tag, on tag. Where's Myth? Where's Myth? Fucking 10 Too miles away. Illusion. Sorry. Catch me. What are you doing? Uh, there's Come no to comment. me. Let's go. Myth, anything else going out? Your initial pulls up front in three, two, one. Fire pulls, fire pulls. Spike. Uh, then water. So with water, your two skill. Uh, for those scrapper players, it's just like the uh, the med kit one that shoots in front of you. It's a spray. Shoots out in front, heals your allies. However, it also damages the enemies in front of it. So you will uh, you will get a lot more tags on this build than you would with a scrapper. Simply because a lot of the things you're doing are technically damage skills. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> And then your next, uh, your your bigger heals are your four and your five. So your four, your tidal surge, just sends a wave out in front of you. And uh, that will heal your allies. It will also knock back the enemies that are on them. So say, you know, your group's like trying to res somebody that's getting like picked on a little bit. It's good to use that one if we need healing in that situation. And your five skill is your water globe. So this is a combo field. This is your water field that you're going to blast. Now, in order to blast this, you are going to put a frost aura on yourself by hitting your three skill. So you want to hit your five, and then immediately after, hit your three. It You got to be pretty quick about it, because that uh, water is shooting out in front of you, and it keeps moving. It does not stop. <laughs> and then your F2 is going to give another frost aura. Which gives us, the frost aura gives you negative 10% incoming damage, you and your party, because we're sharing all our auras. Uh, and this is a really big heal, it's very good Condi cleanse. So, um, this will heal you, it will also break stun. However, it is very easy for the enemies to interrupt them. So you, you want to be like nice and close in your group when you're uh, doing that one. It's not a good oh shit, I'm off tag heal, because it's very easy to interrupt. Okay, moving on to your, um, what are these things called? Utility Noodles. skills. <laughs> Wash the pain away is a very good heal. I like to use this when we first push because I'm usually either in air or earth at the beginning when we're engaging for that, either that magnetic aura or the uh, shocking aura. And so usually... My usage of this is I've pushed in, like, overloading lightning or something, because that will make the enemies uh, around us vulnerable as well. Gives them a stack of vulnerability. And then I'll, f I'll use Wash the Pain away to clear those initial conditions that we're getting, because it clears a lot of conditions. Actually, we're pushing down to three. Come on, push down now. Push down now. Push down now. All the way. Do you see on us? So skill for, like, non-selfish purposes? Yeah, it's an AoE heal skill. 
Um, Healed your whole party. I've only really used it if I was like, oh no, I'm losing like half of my health here. <clears throat> no, it, it heals five targets. You're not, you're not, as an aura tempest healer, you shouldn't need to ever be using oh shit heals on yourself. Because keeping your party alive, the people squishier than you should probably be taking more damage than you are. So you should be doing more healing than you actually need yourself. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> We've got your seven skill. This is another frost aura. Flash freeze. Uh, so this will chill the enemies around you. It will also uh, give us, again, that negative 10% incoming damage. It also has a little bit of regen on it. <clears throat> and we kind of went over this a little bit when we blasted our fire field, but your aftershock uh, gives you another magnetic aura. It's also a blast skill. Uh, it also gives you Aegis, and it immobilizes anyone that is uh, near you as well. To Eye of the Storm, the reason that we bring it is because it gives us super speed and it breaks stun. So if you see people that are stunned or mobbed, you can use this to free them. Or if we are like falling behind, you can use it to give them super speed to catch up. Uh, then your rebound. Rebound is going to either save your friends or give them an aura, depending on the situation. Uh, you don't want to be too reliant on this, though, because unlike all the other skills which are going to prioritize your party, this one does not. It is completely random. That seems sensible. Define random. It just randomly applies it to five people. You get no choice in who it is. Generally... What? Yeah, it's it's. Huh? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to prioritize your party, but it does not work correctly. Um, huh? it, it does seem to always put it on you, however. <laughs> Depending on what element you are in at the time of casting it, that's what aura your allies will get if they are not about to die. If they are about to die, it will heal them instead. And again, you can use that as I need another Condi Cleanse as well. Well as overloading of course gives alacrity so you want to be rotating through your overloads as much as possible. If we're not in a super sweaty hot fight, you can pretty much keep perma alacrity up with this build. If you need to do more healing, then your alacrity is going to fall off a little bit. Get ready for fire portals in three, two, one fire portal down, putting a bubble up. And damage your damage your damage your pulls nose, pulls nose. You ready? We're moving back. We're moving back towards the camp. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Come with me. Give me heals up front. I need a signal on that. Fuck, I'm stuck. I can't move. I can't move. Damage your front, damage your front. Get those people up, get those people up. We got like three downs. Come on, come on, run. Grind these out, grind these out. We're dodging back. Let's have it. He has the one go down. Come up to the left. Come up, or right, sorry. Come up right. Sorry, come up right. Damage on them. Get them away from our shields. Get them away from that down. Get them away from that down. Get ready. Push up, push up. Don't let them any no group on this shit. Get ready. If you have well, throw them up now. Throw them up now. Cut to the right. Cut to the right. Cut to the right. Get ready. We're standing up top. Hold up top. Come up top. Come up top. High ground, high ground, high ground. We take it. Banish your, banish your warriors. Get our stab going. We hold here. We hold here. Damage on the feet. Damage on the feet. Get ready. We're moving back to the camp and throw so, uh, you want to be watching your party's condies and using your auras when you see the condies. Now, if, you know, Ethan got one stack of cripple and everyone else is fine and we're all staying together, you may not, you know, necessarily need to use an aura for that reason if we're not, like, engaged. Like, you know, you maybe you pick an aura that's going to, like, hurt the enemies instead. Because you shouldn't ever not have an aura to hit. You should always have an aura available to you to hit. Unless we need that extra healing and you're stuck camping water. Because occasionally that will happen. But between the alacrity from your overloads, I have found that I have pretty much never run out of auras. Even if I'm just constantly clicking them.
So like, say we're pushing, it would be we go in with the overall lightning. Um, it, or earth. It, it depends on okay. the group. Lightning or earth depends on the group, and then uh, wash the pain away to clear some condies. Yeah, but only if to... there are a lot of condies. So if you push in and everybody's got like two condies on them, a, a regular aura will do it. But if you push in and now everyone's got like five or six condies on them, then you're gonna have to use your six skill. Okay, cool. And then, um, say so I clear those condies, and then would I pop into fire to give might real quick? Um, and then go into earth or lightning or water or whatever is needed. So once you have cleared the initial condies, you're going to want to overload again. Your overload should be back up to give alacrity. Uh, any uh, aura that I want or the, the same one? The, so whatever attunement you're in, I usually just overload that. If the cooldown's not done, I'll just switch to another one. Uh, if we're sitting in them... I'll usually switch to Earth to give more uh, protection. If we're not sitting in them, if we're just getting close, then I'll use fire instead. Okay, so the priority seems to be overload as consistently as possible, and then you apply either Earth, Water, or Lightning, depending on what you want to do. So like if you want Stab, or Healing, or what is that? Right, you don't give any Stab, but if you want oh, okay. protection. Or healing. Oh, Earth gives protection or stunning. blindness? Okay. Yeah. So Earth gives protection, and you have the blindness skill. Air gives a daze. So you know how sometimes we get, like, stunned for a second? You have that little purple icon on you, and you can't move? That's yeah. that's what's doing that. And then fire gives uh, might and damage. So if, you know, we're not struggling at all with our healing... Or we just need a little bit more uh, Condi Cleanse. Like, Fire is really good Condi Cleanse because of the way this uh, build is set up. So, like, old school, all the healer builds ran uh, Water Earth, but now you run Fire simply for the uh, lesser cleansing Fire and the uh, Fire Aura. So these, these two traits make Fire do a lot of cleansing is heals and blasting with the frost or does knockback? No, tidal surge is knockback. So it's heals and some knockback? Yeah, so the uh, tidal surge has the knockback and the heals. And then your five is a water and your three used to blast at. If you've accidentally casted your three at the wrong time, you can also blast it with your aftershock skill. <laughs> <laughs> to give auras and stuff. Um, and it seems to use a lot of 3, 4, 5, water has 2, but for the most part, weapon skill 3, 4, 5 is what we need to, I guess, keep the ores going? Yeah. Like, you could use your 2 and fire, but it, it doesn't do much, you're just putting flames on them. Uh, sometimes I'll hit my uh, 2 skill in earth, just because it puts a little bit of bleed if, like, I've got no healing to do at the time. <laughs> Uh, so you blast with your 8 skill, because it's the only thing you can blast it with. <laughs> that too. <laughs> your aftershock. Because your only other blast is in your water attunement. Two blasts. But with the alacrity, they'll be up so fast you won't even notice. Right,